on guys and welcome back to Obey Laurent. So got a few things going on today. We have got this field we need to take care of. So we've got some weeds in there. It needs liming. Obviously it'll get rolled after we've uh, planted seeds. We're not going to do that today. But if you can see down there, we've got the fence set up. Just get rid of that map. Got the fence set up with the slurry spreader on the back. We've got the Lexian set up, ready to go on harvesting our first oat crop. Uh, field 33 is not actually ready yet. So we're going to have to uh, hold off on that. We're in July, there's no products to sell. But if we come into our animals, we're going to need to put some water into the cows sometime pretty soon. We're going to have to do a milk delivery. Um, potentially to both the bakery and to the dairy. Just to keep that dairy going. As for our chickens, they are good to go for now. We may have some that are getting up there in months. Uh, 22. Okay, so we've still got a little while before we have any of them to get rid of, but you will notice we've now got a lot more cows. So our initial 20 babies that we purchased have just produce their first lot of offspring. So we're going to have to start keeping on top of them as far as straw, water and food goes, or total mix ration. Uh, if we just have a quick look, uh, bakery. Yep, we need a little bit of milk in there, not too much. But the rest of it can go to the dairy. Everything else is producing nicely. We've still got another 14,000 litres of canola oil to come out. So what we're going to do... Where do we start? I reckon we'll leave the harvest for now. We'll jump into this guy. He is only on single application rate. So what we'll do is we'll get this done. See how much it takes when we're uh, only using single application rate. We will be using our uh, little 6 meter drill for this. Depending what we put in here. So that will put the second a lot of fertilizer down. What we're going to do is get it spread. We'll uh, most likely plow because we want to get rid of those weeds. And then we're going to have to also spread lime. Bit of a uh, hill there for some reason that I've never noticed before. Now we may get out and smooth that out. But what we'll do, we'll run down, we'll do a headland. That way we're away from that fence when it comes time to that. There, that's all right. But it's definitely uh, a lot nicer on the, the slurry when we don't have that double application rate going. Okay, 
It is a handful to uh, keep within the boundary of the field, though. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a big enough field that the crop we get from it produces nicely. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this field will always be our chicken feed field. Now, we should be able to lift that there. Yeah, that's, that's plenty. top here we'll go and grab some more so that's already 30,000 litres that it's used by the time we get back up here it should be pretty much close to empty what we'll do is we'll kick on into our first time lapse and we'll get this done just make sure we get this field edge without running into the crop. Three thousand litres in here. What we'll do is we'll come up. We'll try and uh, tidy up this little bit up here that we've missed, and that other little piece up along the other side near the grass field. Try and spin around without hitting either the tree or the greenhouse. This guy put away. There it is, right there. Let's see if we can't grab this little bit. There we go. So we'll get this folded up put away um, we may as well see how much we've got left whether we can uh, fill it up again that way it's ready to go for next time I may actually leave this thing parked here just makes sense it's out of the way How much do we have left to play with? Won't be a full load. 82%. That's not too bad. Okay. So what have we got up next? We need to get in there. Now we can either cultivate 
then plant, deal with the weeds when they pop up, or we could plow again. Does need lime, so we're gonna have to actually we'll spread the lime now just to get it out of the way and done. And we should have plenty of lime in the lime production there. Now obviously when we cultivate we're going to bring some stones up. So we'll get the stone picking done off screen. You guys have seen more than enough of that. Oh, I've tried coming the wrong way there. It's a good thing I noticed because we also need to uh, stick some more lime in this guy before we get started. Oh, running over the least trailer. as well start down at this end. I forgot the working length of this thing. So I reckon if we come about there. Oh, almost perfect, look at that. Now, not too phased on getting the harvesting done today because obviously the next field won't be ready until August, so the next in-game day. So we're in no rush to get that one little field harvested. We do need to look at what we're going to do to put money into the account though. I would like to uh, get rid of that leased head off trailer and purchase our own. Um, also, want to get our hands on. Potentially the MAN milk truck or some sort of liquid truck did go through our options in a previous episode and there's a good one in there. It's 25,000 litres and it will carry everything. Same with that trailer we've got. So if we do ever take the slurry spread off up to field 2 or 1718 we can take a second load of slurry with us. Okay, so we'll continue on. We'll get this field done. Um, shouldn't take too much longer. Granted, this is not the, the widest spreader we've got. But it does the job nicely.
nice little piece. A couple of little spots to touch up across the field, but we'll grab them on our way out. We don't want to run into the little yellow car. Which we did anyway. Right, so we've got this piece up here and another piece up in that top corner. But it's good to know that we can get that entire field done with one load of wine. I thought there at one stage we were going to be going back to get another load. And that last little speck. Right there. Oh yes. Look at that. So we have added in the uh, the real dirt texture, real dirt fix and real dirt colour. So we will now be seeing a lot more of the lime, the dirt and the mud and so on getting onto the tyres. So what we might do is pull this thing in for an overdue wash. And we're not going to have the money, but that thing's going to need repair soon. It's only going to cost us 149. We'll repair that one. But yeah, 6,700. Unfortunately, that is going to have to wait. This thing really has served us well. It's been around on the farm for a long time. Must be getting close to notching up 100 hours in it. Really should have looked at that before we dumped out. 80. So yeah. It's getting there. Right, so what we want to do now is do we cultivate, do we plow? Oh, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, swing, swing, swing. What I reckon we're gonna do is We'll cultivate it, we'll deal with the weeds when they come up. So, cultivator just over here. Now, this cultivator is pretty much the only reason we've kept this vent around. Well, it was. We've now got that uh, slurry spreader and I... As much as it says the case will be able to pull it, I don't know, it just looks a little big to me. What we'll do, we'll start on this corner, we'll work our way around. Once we get back up to the top section there, we'll jump into the, the class and we will start getting our harvest underway. If you remember, the uh, the oats from this field are all going into the silo. We want to keep them for when we finally get around 
to putting in our cereal factory. So we want the oats, we want the corn that's up on 17, 18. Um, there's quite a few other things we're going to need in there. That we're going to have to work out. I have also installed the purchasable grape and raisin pallets so we don't have to do our grapes or olives on this map. We may still look into it a little bit further down the line once we are really getting ahead. Or we may leave that for another map. So we'll start off with like a, uh, a small grape or a small olive vineyard and we'll see what sort of farm we can expand into. great mod that um, real dirt texture, real dirt fix, real dirt colour. Should really start paying uh, a bit more attention to the mods I'm putting in, that way I can recommend it to you guys. As far as uh, the mod producer or the person who produced the mod being able to give them their credit where it's due. But we're getting up to the corner now. Like I said, we'll get this set up, turned around facing the other way. That way a worker can take over doing this and we can get onto. Should have uh had that fixed already. Had the time set to times one, not times five. Yeah, plenty of room we can get up to that. get him underway, he should be good to go, he, she, they'll get the rest of that done, and we can jump out here, just get off the track as quick as we can for him, so what are we looking at, yield bonus 100%, fertilized 100%, good to go. Potential harvest quantity, 13,000. Is that just for this field or does that change when we come up to field 39 as well? Yep, so 15,000 for field 39. So it's saying somewhere around the 28 or high 20s. 20,000 liters we should get off of this field. That'd be good. That's a good start for getting the uh, the cereal factor in the way. So, start this guy up. Get onto the combine. We want to open that up. Now we should be producing straw here, yes we are, that's good. We 
don't really need it. We could, uh, in fact, turn that into chopped straw. That way we get that first fertilised stage. But we'll keep hold of it. Worst comes to worst, we can throw the bales onto the back of the truck, head them up to the uh, biomass heating plant or the animal dealer and get them sold off and make a little bit of extra money. In fact, that may be what we do with these two oak fields. Just uh, entirely sell straw that comes from them. That should help bolster the bank account a little bit for now, anyway. Uh, obviously, we're going to have some pretty high production costs with all the factories we've got going on. Plus the general maintenance of the farm, so all of our sheds, the cow, the cow barns, the chicken coops, the silos, the house. It all costs money. That's definitely yielding pretty well. Let's see if it does get us somewhere around that 28 to 29,000 mark that it reckons we're going to get. Slightly. Run around the headland. Get this done, get it all into the silo, and we'll be laughing. We can get the uh, cultivator into this field as well.
guys come up to the last little beast. Not too much left to go. Um, I have obviously tried something different there. Something different like running into harvesters. So he's nice and empty now. He's all switched off. Let's bring up our HUD and find out exactly how much. Remember, the predictor was about 28,000. 32. Perfect. So we've done well there. Now, what we want to do is get the head of front off of that harvester back onto the trailer. The nails will take the trailer across and, or the harvester across and get it set up, ready to go on 33. That'll be in tomorrow's episode. But, as you will have uh, noticed, just trying my hand there at a montage rather than just doing time lapses all the time. In the meantime, old mate's almost got all of the uh, cultivating done. So what we are going to do is get this trailer across to 33 as well, come back, grab the harvester, get that across there, and is this the trailer or no? It's the, yeah, it is the trailer that needs repair. Let's just see how much that's going to cost us. A thousand. Yeah, we'll do that. While we're here, we're going to take it down the road and give it a clean off. That's not too bad guys, 32,000 litres just off that one field. As you know, 33 is much, much bigger. But everything from 33 will literally go straight into the grain mill. It's all going for flour. Hopefully shouldn't need too much. More than 30,000 for the cereal factory. I'm not sure, I haven't really looked into it yet. But what we'll do is we'll get this across to the field We'll come back, we'll grab the harvester, get that across to 33. Grab the fence, we'll finish off that little bit of cultivation that uh, the worker managed to miss. Probably was just a little bit too close to the fence. And we'll see how we're going from that. I've also been throwing those honey pallets straight into the storage as they become available. Sort of uh, one of the things I do to prepare for the videos, prepare for recording. in case it rains this afternoon. Keep the water out of the green tank. Get the beacons on. And we'll go and take this down the other end. We'll start at that end work on the way back up. Shot him down, beacons off. Now, for you. I was just a little bit out there as well. Okay, we'll just grab that before we go too far. I 
Okay, I can't see any stones even though we've cultivated. Well, that's probably a good thing. We will have a look on the map though. But this is only a light surface tickle. So I'm not surprised that no rocks have shown up. Okay, lift it up, fold it up. While that's folding up, what we'll do is we'll jump in here, have a look at the map. Seabed, nice. Needs rolling, we'll get rid of that. And we've got our first layer of fertilizer for some reason. Not sure why. Oh no, that's right. I am sure why. We are. Uh, we spread slurry. Completely forgot about that. But yes, next field 33 and then we'll move into the corn in October, potentially November. So that'll see us up here. If we come here, growing, yeah, it's still got another couple of states to go. But that is fine. <clears throat> Okay, so what we can do now, if we jump out of there, what we haven't done is we'll have a quick look in our sails. No, there's nothing there for us. Like that would be nice, that would be the ultimate replacement for the Fent. But at 168, and you can guarantee that's the, uh, the small horsepower. Yeah, it is. It's another hundred thousand dollars to uh, go up to the six twenty instead of the four twenty. Two hundred horsepower. That's that's actually not too bad. Radio guys, I reckon we're going to uh, end the episode there. What we'll do is we'll jump in for tomorrow's episode. What I'm thinking we're going to do in tomorrow's episode is obviously get all this straw picked up, get this field prepped, ready to go. Um, it's not going to get slurry spread on it because we just don't have enough to do that. But before we cultivate it, we might spread some uh, some solid fed on it. Get that cultivated into the ground, and then once again, once we drill, it will give us a nice hit of that second fertilization round. Um, the cows do need straw. No, they don't. That's right, we've got to do a milk run and a water run, so that will possibly be the first thing we do in the next episode. But anyway guys, thank you very much for joining in, hope you've enjoyed the episode, and we will see you next time.